Hey there Libra, welcome to Shared Ascensions. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. So this is going to be your general weekly reading for general weekly. No, this is going to be your monthly reading for the month of September. Any information you need, you can find it down below. Okay. I do have personals open right now, so I have the email readings as well as the recorded video video readings. If you all are interested, uh, all that information is in the description box. Also on uh, Monday. I'm going to be posting on my Patreon page for each individual sign. I'm going to be going into specific topics for the month of September. So uh, we're going to be going into love and relationships, work and finance, health and well-being, and self-development. So if those sound like topics that interest you, you all could join my Patreon page and expect those to be up by Monday, okay? Also, Libra, you all are more than welcome to follow me on um, Facebook and Instagram if you'd like. You have the Nine of Cups as your overall energy. Ooh, Seven of Swords underneath that. I almost feel like you're really close to... Um, something is really close to slipping away here. And I don't say that to freak you all out. Somebody could have Jupiter and Pisces here. Um, but I feel like you're not setting boundaries in a situation, okay? You have the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. So... Um, there's something here that can slip away because your lack of boundaries. So that's something you want to be mindful of. You start off with the Empress. So things are going strong here. Taurus and Libra energy. What's going on with the Empress for Libra? Yeah, there's something here that really needs your focus. With the Eight of Pentacles, we'll look at that in just a second and figure out what needs your focus here. You've got the Six of Pentacles now. Um, you're trying to figure out what to give to in a situation. I think you're giving to two different things, possibly two different people. Somebody could have their Moon in Taurus or their Moon in Libra here. Others of you, I feel like you're planting new seeds. Uh, new things are sprouting here, and I feel like that's really exciting for you, Libra. You could be a parent, all right? Um, there could be some kind of extra money coming in in the month of September as well. You move from the Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles, so, you know, in the Six of Pentacles, seeds are planted, and the Seven th seeds are sown, things are growing. So I feel like some extra finances, uh, some extra money could be coming in here for some of you. It's something that you've worked really hard to achieve, though, okay? I feel like this is something that you're creating all by yourself for a lot of you, especially with the King of Wands and the emperor being here. You could work in sales, all right, for some of you. You have the seven of pentacles, Saturn and Taurus. Let's look at this. Let's go on with the seven of pentacles. Some of you have yet to clean something up or to make something clear to a person here in regards to what you want. You could be asked, you know, where do we stand here in the month of September? That could be a question that comes up. Ace of pentacles. There could be, this could end in a commitment for some of you, all right. But again, I feel like for others of you, there's some kind of clear exchange that needs to happen. There's some kind of uh, clear conversation that has to be had. Otherwise, there is going to be some conflict. You've got the Five of Swords right here. What's going on with the Five of Swords? Somebody could have Venus and Aquarius. What's going on with the Five of Swords for Libra? Page of Cups. Could involve a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But yeah, you know, there, there's a fish kind of jumping, ready to jump out of the cup here in the Page of Cups. So it's almost like there, there could be somebody here, for example, Libra, who may have a lot of emotion for you. But it's possible that you're still entertaining something from the past or you're not setting a clear boundary with something from the past and they feel very threatened, okay? So that could be something that's coming up for some of you. We're going to figure out what needs your focus with this card because that's Sun and Virgo energy. But that is a card of putting in the work on something, putting in the focus. But this is the before tarot. He's not quite sure what he wants to focus on just yet. So what's going on with the Eight of Pentacles? We've got the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, really needing to cut through the confusion and figure out what it is that you truly desire here, okay? Um, because some of you, I feel like there are multiple people involved here. And if that's your thing, then that's fine. Um, but I feel like it's something that you're not really aware of. Um, you know, it being so crucial, it being so uh, urgent for you to choose something here, okay? So definitely figure out what you want, what you want to commit to, okay? What you want and what you want to commit to. Um, so some of you, this could involve things that you want to do, like uh, your creations, like your desires. For others of you, I feel like this is between a few different people here, okay? You got the King of Wands as well, Leo energy. So let's figure out what's going on with that King of Wands.
feel that for some of you where this is a love situation, there's somebody who is waiting to be offered something. Um, they're waiting to be given that wand. For others of you, there is uh, somebody here who is very, um, there's somebody else here who feels like their position is secure, okay? So, um, and I feel like in this situation, the way that you're feeling towards this person, like you want those roles switched, you want the other person feeling secure, and um, I'm not sure why you're entertaining this other individual here. I feel like it's definitely a past person, and it could definitely be a Leo for some of you with the strength card showing up here. Um, you know, with the strength card, that can talk about having patience. I feel like you guys have really been through the ringer with this person here. This is a love situation, and um, you know, I feel like you're really valuing valuing history over the uh, quality of a connection. So that's something that could be happening here. For others of you, I feel like you're really in the spotlight here with something that you're doing for work, all right? Or something that you're creating. Some of you, there could be a pregnancy here. Or again, you could be parents. So your child could be in the spotlight in some way, shape, or form. Um, but I feel like you are moving into a leadership position. There's a little bit more responsibility that you're accepting here in the month of September. You have the emperor. Aries energy. What's going on with that? You have the Emperor and the Empress out on the board here. There can definitely be and the Ace of Pentacles commitment with the counterpart here. What's going on with the Emperor for Libra? The Four of Swords. So give me just one moment here, you guys. Somebody could have Jupiter in Libra. There's definitely expansion in a partnership here, okay? Um, Definitely expansion and a partnership here. For some of you, you may not be aware of this. I'm not sure what this is, but there's a very friendly energy coming off of you. Um, the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you could be giving to the wrong thing. You could be um, giving to the wrong person is how that feels here to me. So that's something that you really want to watch out for and pay attention to in the month of September, Libra. I feel like there's somebody here who um, is really waiting on you to make a move towards them and you're, you're, you could be entertaining something else. And that's obviously not going to resonate with everyone, okay? Um, we could get some other messages, but that seems like it's coming through pretty strongly. You have the Seven of, uh, or excuse me, the Eight of Wands right here, Mercury and Aquarius. of cups. I feel like an emotional offer is being made here and again I feel like you're being asked where you stand with an individual here. Some of you there may be some defensiveness. You're going to want to lower that just a little bit with the seven of wands and understand where that's coming from. This could be a Scorpio for some but I do see some messages coming in. Some messages going out as well with the three of wands. I feel like you come to an understanding here. I definitely see you coming to an understanding of the King of Cups energy showing up. You have the Magician. This could be with a Virgo or a Gemini. Now, you can have whatever and whoever you want in this situation here, but, um, you know, that's not going to be on the table forever. How about the Magician? The High Priestess. Pisces energy. Somebody might even feel like things are going on behind the scenes here. What else is going on with this? It's almost like some of you are trying to hold on to what you know. You know, you know all the skills, all the tricks of the magician, right? He's got all the tools out on the table, but the high priestess, there's something behind the curtain, and you're very curious about that, okay, and that person for some of you. Um, so, yeah, it almost seems like some of you could be trying to hold on to two different things here. Uh, the seven of wands in the reverse position. Seven of Wands upright to me could be like a block, like blocking or a blockage. Uh, it can also be, you know, passing a test, defeating something. Um, it can also be, you know, setting boundaries. So it can be a lot of different things depending on what it's showing up with. So I'm going to look at that, see what's going on with it. Because I do feel like with it being in the reverse position, there's a lack of boundaries being set here with the past person. We have the Six of Wands right here, okay? So, yeah, I definitely feel like there's somebody here who's really crowning you. Like, they, they really, um, they, they think very highly of you, Libra, all right? And this is an opportunity that you don't want to miss out on. If things were meant to work out with this past person, they definitely would have, okay? So that's something that needs to be recognized here as well. This person wants to be recognized by you. They want to be valued in the way that, you know, you are, that they value you. Anything else here for Libra? Yeah, expression is going to be key. I, I feel like you you barely miss this Nine of Swords energy. I mean, um, the, these swords, they, they barely miss this person right here. Like she's laying flat or he's laying flat in the bed and those swords 
are just right over top of him here. So I definitely feel like there's a lot going on in this person's headspace. Expression is going to be key. You have the Three of Pentacles right here. Threes talk about creation and expression. Some of you, there could be some stress in the workplace here or within money, within finances. I do feel like that's being cleaned up here. But it's by something that you're doing, and it is going to require a lot of hard work, okay? And I almost feel you guys in a space where you're not going to be stopping here in the month of September as well. Things are going to be very busy, all right? Uh, but I see that somebody wants something to be made official. There's going to be some kind of conversation that's had about this um, and that's going to mean that you have to close something out with a past situation here all right and they're going to notice it's almost like you're not even hiding this you could be a little bit oblivious to the fact that that you know this is even an issue but it definitely is all right so that's what i'm seeing here for you libra um i know that that was pretty specific i want to go ahead and answer your yes or no question you all could also um watch out for your other sign especially since this was such a specific reading is this a yes or no for libra we got big yes, okay? So yes, um, that's what I'm saying for you, Libra. Again, you all could uh, watch out for your other signs, but if this is where we part, thank you so much for watching and supporting me, and you all enjoy your month. Bye.